The weather just held off and the fans flocked to Ashton Gate for the most eagerly awaited fixture of the season. For Bristol City, really, being a true supporter, we hope we get a draw or a win. In the capacity crowd, Swindon manager Steve McMahon taking notes for Wednesday's league match and the small matter of 5,500 Everton fans. They'd worked on the pitch all week. Plastic covers and some last-minute attention saved it from the weather. Joe Royal, Everton manager and former Bristol City player, was given a warm welcome, but his side was soon exposed by some adventurous Bristol City play. Bristol City winger Junior Bent passed his man, David Burrows, time and again to send in a series of crosses. Here, Scott Partridge in space, shot wide. Later, a cross by Tinian and Allison's header came off the post. But in the end, after Matt Bryant failed to clear, the ball fell to Matthew Jackson. It was a rare Everton chance, but he took it well. At the final whistle, the fans knew their side had done more than enough to win. It's the same all the time, I think, goals, and he goes. It's creating the opportunity to stop scoring the goals. As Everton left the field, there was only relief, particularly for their manager. Good return mm. to Ashton Gate for you. <laughs> yes, good results, great results. Uh, rode our luck and got away with it. Bit fortunate? I would say so. I thought the team were terrific. And I've told them that, and I've also told them that uh, the pats in the back are, are no good. Uh, we, we want results. Joe Royal left to contemplate a fifth round tie, but at least Bristol City's confidence has been boosted in their continuing fight against relegation.